all right people so i've gotten my waist upper hip lower hip and this is my actual knee position what i have here is my skirt pattern piece for front and for back so this back i'm going to have um, my center back the center back is going to be at the center you know how to draft your back pattern skirts but i'll just divide what i have here and find the mid point so the mid point is the point of the zip that is the point of the zip so this is the center back of this skirt so we want to first of all mark out what we have on this skirt so from your actual knee position please go up by four inches I'm working with um, a small scale uh, drafting also, but from here to here, four inches, and you connect to the lower hip, uh, to the upper hip. So I'll just connect this to the upper hip. But what I have here, because it's a small scale, if I measure that four inches, it's not going to actually match up well. So I really need a curve to it the way it is. So if you cannot get that curve, let me the four inches should be from here to here. Okay, that is if you are making it on your skirt. So make sure you curve it very well to the upper hip. So that is where we are going to attach the peplum. So I went from there to there four inches. And from this knee to the back, the same four inches. Okay, so this one now, right now, is going to be at four inches on a straight course. Can you see? So that is what is required for this particular skirt pattern piece. And that is what we are going to use for the sewing of this skirt. So for the sewing of this skirt, okay, we are going to have um, the uh, the flay sewn on this level, which is four inches above, and it will come over from that back to this level again. Okay, so this peplum is going to start from here. It's going to start from here and run into here, and return back. So I'll be showing you how that is done. So before we uh, we cut, I'm going to cut the shape of this skirt. So this is how this skirt is going to be cut now. That is exactly where you are going to cut. Above that four inches, you are going to cut it straight. So everything about this, we don't need it for this particular skirt. So I'll now cut the shape of the skirt from here. Cut the shape of the skirt from here. We come in here and cut the shape of the skirt. So note that you have a zip right here. Please don't forget there will be a zip. Okay, but you will sew in to have your zip the normal way you do that before the flay will be attached. So I'll just cut this way. That way. So this is our skirt, and that is how the skirt will be sewn. So by the time we sew this together, then we are going to start our um, flay this way, that way, and it will return back. To this point so we are going to take the measurement of what we have on the skirt pattern to cut our flay so i'm going to cut measure from here to here here i have 11 and a half 11 and a half then i'm going to measure what i have from here to here so here i have 13 and a half okay and i'm going to measure what i have from here to here i will add it to what i have there so this part i'm not going to get i'll just get up to 
this point because by the time this one drops it covers it so i'll just take like mid or abo a little above midline i'll add it seven inches plus seven inches so this one is going to be 11 plus 7 is 18 and a half okay let me just make it 19 okay and this one is 13 and a half okay or let us just take the accurate one 18 and a half so i'm going to cut now i'm cutting 360 360 flay for both of them so 18 and a half is the divide by 6.28 that is what I'm going to cut now. 360 for this coming to meet this. And I'll cut 360. That is 13 and half. 13 and half over 6.28. So let me quickly calculate it now. I'll cut out the flay. And the length of the flay is your desired length of flay. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using 8 inches for my It depends on where you want the flay to stop. But I'll be using length of 8 inches. Then I'll calculate the radius separately. Then we'll call the 360. So I've already calculated my back and the front peplum right now. And I have 3 inches radius for this. And 2 inches radius. So I'll be cutting the two flays now. 360, 360. So the 360... I'm going to fold my paper. I'll fold it again. So I folded my paper now for my three sixty. So my 360 cut degrees cutting. I'm going to cut the first flay, which is at three inches. So from here, I'll mark out three. I'll mark out three. Of course, you should know how to, if you want to make this cut, you should know how to cut your 360. So this is my 360, and the length is eight inches, like I said. So it's all your choice. It depends on what you want for the length. So I'm going to cut out the first flay. So this first flay is the one that will go from the back and return back to the front. It's going to go to the back and return back to the front. So I've cut it and I'll open it up. I'll open it up so it's going to go from the back and it's going to return back to the front so for the part that will return back to the front I'm going to make it's going to return this way okay it will come from the back and return to the front so because it's returning to the front I'm going to fold okay let me just bring the skirts and mark it out before I make mine. So this is the back. I will sew in the flay to the back. So by the time I sew in the one that will return the, to the front, that is from here, it will return. So I'm going to make like um, it's just my design anyway because I don't want it to. I'll just do like this, something like this to the tip of the flay, okay? So it has to start reducing because when the upper one comes, it's going to make that part smaller. So this is what I need. By the time we sew this now, okay? I believe you will see what I'm doing. This one now. This uh, front piece. It will come to the front this way. I believe you see what I'm talking about here. 
So by the time you sew it, you can see this part I shaped in will be sewn straight this way. Okay? I believe you, this is understandable. So now, let me cut this one. This one, I'm going to cut it now. So this one, I'll be cutting it with two inches. Still, still with the same, with the same uh, eight inches. So I don't know what, whether what I have here will do that clear. So the copper here might not do the eight inches. So I'll get another. I'll get another copper. So I'm cutting my three sixty again, but this time I'm using radius two inches. two inches then I'm going to mark out my two two inches two two inches two two inches two inches and then mark out my eight inches so this is the eight inches eight inches eight inches as you can see so i just go ahead and cut the part that will be in the front and this part then i'll still open it up so this whole process, you are going to sew all your skirts completely. This skirt will be sewn completely, okay? Um, once you are done sewing these um, skirts, make sure you leave the zipper part open because you need to lay the skirts this way, okay? This side will be on this side. The zipper, it needs to, you need to spread the skirt after sewing. That's what I mean. So you'll be able to run these stitches. So you can also, there's something else I'm, I'm even thinking about. We can also cut, instead of, because at this point now, I wouldn't want to have a joining, but it's okay. Flays, you can also have a joining there. It's okay. Because I want it to be as full as it is. That's why I'm, I'm making use of uh, this um, separate 360. You can take the whole length and cut your flay at 360 at once too. That's what I'm trying to talk about. So this flay now, you will sew this to this, sew this to this. So as you are sewing to this, the high-low, you start seeing the high-low. It will start falling. So because I'm working with pepper, you might not actually uh, appreciate the, the low, high-low effects, okay? So but what I will do now, I will just uh, use my adhesive to pretend I've sewn this. So when you are sewing, you are going to sew this on top of this. So the method of your sewing is you have to sew and turn down. You sew this way. You sew this way and allow it to fall. But because I'm using my adhesive on it, I'll just go ahead and sew this way. So here I'm sewing my high load um, plate. So you just sew it to this point. Like I said, you have to finish sewing your skirt. So this one is the basket. So definitely the back will be like this on this. So I'll just pin um, 
I will just uh, sew the part of the back. So before you do this, you are going to join your flay. Please don't forget to join the whole flay. You are going to join these parts. Okay? These parts will be joined to this. And that is the part that you sew. So just sew your skirt completely, join it together and run it straight. So this is it. Okay, so now I've sewn the uh, back and this is the front, okay? So this front now, like I said, it's like I've gone did the wrong way. It's supposed to be this other way, so it returns back, okay? So, let me take it off and we do... So it's supposed to be this way. I'm supposed to go it this way, okay? So by when you are sewing it, you it will be very easy to sew down. Okay. So this one will be here. Then this one, you lift the, this one up and sew it on top. It will be sewn on top. Okay, so please don't confuse this. This one will come here. So when you are doing this, you need to spread your skirts. Then this one comes in here. So I'm doing this because uh, I'm using paper to illustrate it. But when you are using fabric, you understand this better. So you can see what we have right here. So the part I high load now, you can see how it's looking right there and this one will now come down on it I believe this class is on that street so just give it a try with your fabric and you will see the outcome so can you see that so if you look in here you will see that this part is showing just exactly as it is on the thumbnail so that is how we come to the end of this tutorial so if you wish to bring it a little bit up you can still bring this a little bit up okay maybe like two inches above the upper hip okay so you have that um, effect more i'm working with small scale so small scale might not really give you So that is it and that is how this skirt is done. So I believe you uh, got the idea of what we are doing here. So this is how the skirt will look like. So thank you very much for coming to this tutorial. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you for coming. See you in the next class. Bye.